I've got an empty drum machine designer kit here, and I've got some Apple Loops, and I want to harvest some slices from a bunch of Apple Loops and create a drum machine designer kit with it. I like the hi-hat in there. I think I can filter that and make an interesting topper loop out of it, topper style loop. Kick and the snare is good there. I think I'll use the snare. And there's a good kick. So let me select these and drag these in. And they'll automatically get mapped to individual pads. And let's start with this one, and it's assigned automatically to C2. So that's where I want to create the hi-hat slice from. So I'm going to go to slice mode. And actually, let's go back there and set this to transient and note. Okay, so that C2 is triggering the snare. So let's just change the output mapping. And it'll trigger a different slice. There we go. And now here, this is mapped to C-sharp. I want the kick from there, so that's pretty simple. It'll be the first note, which is C2. But let's go into slice mode. That's fine. So I've got my two notes. And the next one, mapped to D2. That's the topper that I want to get to. So this one, I'm not going to work in slice mode. Let's set this to transient and note, and we're going to choose part of this to use. Good, so we'll just get one bar of it. And let's edit some of this. Let's put a high pass filter on. And we're going to go back and go into one-shot mode so that a single trigger in the step sequencer will trigger the entire phrase. So let's play with the envelope a bit. So it fades out a bit. And that's fine. And while we're here, let's modulate the pen. I'm going to set this to pan. Set this to tempo, nice and slow. It's fine like that. So let's name that. And finally, we have the next one on D sharp. So here, let's slice this one up. And we want to find a snare slice. So we'll just go through these, triggering different output notes, which are different slices and we'll find one that we want to use. That's fine. And let's see what we can do with this one. I want to have a pitch envelope, so it drops in pitch. I have a simple two-stage envelope here. I can have it go up. I like that. And maybe some filtering. Let's close this up and create a pattern region. And I'll just loop this. And we can reorder this as we want. And you see the names are automatically adopted. And I'll start with a 16-step pattern. That's fine. Let's start with the snare on 2 and 4. And I'll paint in some hi-hats. Let's break up some of these hi-hats. And then we can skip some steps. Get a little more interesting. Let's 
skipping that one. And let's change the step rate of some of them just to get it a little bit more evolving. So with that triplet step rate, it makes some of these offset into triplets, which is interesting. Now let's trigger our topper. So by triggering it here before the beat, I'm restarting it. And the envelope is making it less messy. So there are some ideas on using the new drum machine designer features. Check out more detailed tutorial information on the Logic 10.5 update at group3.com.